Afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sauceta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We are looking for another nice day, although we'll see a few more clouds through the afternoon, but no precip to speak of, even though we have a bat or a cold front coming through the eastern part of the state. That will cool the temperatures down here, but it won't make it much further. So central and western sections still say, staying on the, at least the mild side, and that will continue into Friday as well. We'll start to see those temperatures in the east start to warm back up. We're watching for a storm system to move into our direction by the weekend. This could get, deliver a couple of spot snow showers over the San Juans of Colorado, but the rest of us just seeing a few more clouds and the storm clears out by early next week. A state district court judge has dismissed the charges against former Secretary of State Rebecca Vigilhoron. Vigilhoron was New Mexico Secretary of State from 1999 to 2006. In 2009, she was indicted on charges of fraud, embezzlement, money laundering, tax evasion, and receiving of paying illegal kickbacks. At the center of all of this was this voter education commercial. Commer federal funds, rather, paid for it with Help America Vote Act, or HAVA. Vigil Horon came under fire for how she spent the $6.2 million. A federal audit found several problems with it, including her office went over budget by $3 million and didn't keep proper accounting. Vigil Horon has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. Two lobbyists, Joseph and Elizabeth Kupfer and Armando Gutierrez, the president of the company hired to work on the commercials, were indicted on the same charges Vigil Horon faces. The judge, judge's decision to dismiss the charges against Vigil Horon will not impact the cases against the other three indicted. The prosecutor in this case is considering an appeal. And look at the newest addition to the Biopark Zoo. This baby white rhino was born on October 30th. He is born at the White Oak Conservation Center in Florida. His mama rejected him, and he was fathered by a rhino here, so we got him. He weighed 132 pounds at birth, and he now is up to 170 pounds. The zoo does need your help naming him. A contest will begin on Monday on the Bioparks Facebook page. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow.